Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode. In this episode, I'm gonna be walking around um, El Franconamiento, um, AKA the little neighborhood of Mexico Norte, okay? Um, so, Franconamiento, I don't know, I'm saying I'm butchering it. Uh, Mexi Mexico Norte. So basically, this is like the neighborhood that's kind of close to the Shedrawi I like to go to. And um, as a matter of fact, I was just visiting some friends uh, that moved out here recently to this neighborhood. In fact, I'm gonna paint the, there you go. So you guys can just look at the neighborhood while I look at, you know, trying to figure out, you know, how to get out of here. But anyways, as I was saying, I'm, uh, this is the neighborhood I'm in right now. And um, so we're gonna talk about a few things. You know, I was just visiting a, a few friends Okay, I think it's this way. Hopefully it's this way. I'm hoping. I gotta check out the, you know, I'm walking to the store because I need to go to the store real quick. But I'm not quite sure if this is the right direction or not. See, I'm already kind of lost. So, whatever, you know, we're just gonna, you know, go with the flow. But you guys can see the new neighborhood. You can see the new area, the new buildings, everything that they're doing out here. All right. The new construction, the new everything. All right, some of the new homes, very nice out here. Yeah, I think I am going the right way. All right, look at these new, look at these. Very nice, so for the people that are interested in this. So, you know, back to what I was saying. So, yeah, basically I'm out here because I'm visiting, you know, some friends. Um, they just came into town and um, I was just uh, showing them around real quick and uh, yeah, you know what I mean? Now um, I dropped them off at the place, the Airbnb that they were booking, that they booked around here. And um, I realized, oh, I'm pretty close to the Chedrawi that I like to go to. And I really don't need anything from there, but I do need to go to um, the PetSmart because I wanted to buy some goodies for Gizmo because all the goodies that they sell at the regular grocery store this is not as good. They're just not that good. You know what I mean? So I want to get him some really nice yummy treats. He's been a good boy. Not really. He never is a good boy. You know, he's a, he's a very good boy. But anyways, <laughs> in case he's watching, all right? <laughs> but see, look at some of the homes out here. These are nice and uh, very fancy homes. Very nice area. And uh, yeah, so I, I'm, I'm kind of like um, a little distracted because I'm looking at the map. I want to make sure I'm going the right way. So far, so good. But yeah, guys. So you guys can see you know, the different neighborhoods out here. You know, again, that's why I also brought my camera. Look, look at that house. She looks pimp as hell. Um, but yeah. A lot of nice uh, homes. This is a very nice area. So yeah, I've never really been through here, per se. You know what I mean? I've been through here, but like in an Uber or what have you, but not really, you know, check this area out, kind of like this on my own. So again, this is why I'm out here doing this because it's not just for you, but it's for me. It's like, I want to check out this area and all that good stuff. So, you know, um, these guys, you know, they said that they were renting uh, um, the place, you know, they were renting a really nice place. It was like a nice uh, home. Um, and it was like around 900 for a little bit over a month. All right, this is the street, right? Yes, on the right way, okay. So, and uh, I was like, oh wow, that's pretty, pretty good. And then they were even saying like, yeah, you know, the, the person renting out to us, the Airbnb said that once the Airbnb contract's over, that, uh, let me get some shade, it's very hot. Um, that they, you know, once the contract's over, that they wouldn't be you no know, more than happy to rent it out to them for a lot cheaper. So again, just so you can get an idea on some of the prices on some of these homes now, you know, I don't think some of these bigger homes are for rent. I don't think some of these bigger homes are available, maybe for sale, but that's a different story. Um, but yeah. But one of the things that I kind of wanted to talk about today, I want to talk about a few things, um, but one of the things I wanted to talk about was, um, you know, um, my friends that were out here. I don't want to put them on the spot, but it's all good. You know what I mean? I don't think that uh, anyone knows who they are anyway. <laughs> but the point is, is that um, something happened to them, I'm, uh, uh, you know, when they got here. And um, it's something, it's something that happens basically to everybody. It happened to me. It happens to like, man, I want to say 75% of the people that come out here, especially expats, like um, from the US or even Canada. Um, this happens a lot in the sense that like, uh, you know, one of the things that happens, so yeah, look at some of these homes here. 
So these are like more apartments or something, I guess. But anyways, um, as I was saying, um, what happened to them is they got locked out of the house because it happens a lot. So a lot of the homes here, for the most part, even the newer builds, um, they're just a system, you know, in which uh, for whatever reason, you can get locked out, you know, very easily and very quickly. And since you can get locked out, well, unfortunately, you know, um, you're going to have a problem with uh, getting locked out of your house. All right, I want to make sure we're going the right way. I think we're going the right way. And then, okay, so this will turn into the street. Okay. So, all right, we got about 10 minutes, it says. So, yeah, basically, so another thing is that, you know, that you need to be careful. You really need to be careful is the sense of, like, uh, getting locked out. Hey, let me get some shade or let's see if we can get some shade this way. Um, but, yeah, you know what I mean? You can get locked out. And so, um, you know, you can get locked out, like, in a sense of you can get locked out in your backyard. You can get locked out in your front yard. You can get locked out um, within your own house. This has happened many times. I got locked out of my balcony. Um, other people I know have gotten locked out, you know what I mean? Like, again, their backyard. Um, other people, again, have gotten locked out literally within their kitchen, within their home. Because a lot of these homes, again, the newer builds are a little different, but... Um, a lot of the older homes, you know, uh, for the most part, they have like locks within, within locks, within locks. So, you know, the kitchen itself might have a separate set of doors and a separate set of uh, lock and key. Um, the same thing can go for uh, um, your backyard and so many other things. And so, but the worst part is that you literally the door can slam behind you because you have like your doors and your windows and all that shit open. And um, when the wind blows, broop, it, it could you know, blow hard enough and it blows your window. I mean, it blows uh, your door open or closed, I mean, and then you get locked out because you don't have your key. In fact, I remember back when I was dating Christian that her and grandma, because they were living together, um, they got locked out of the home. They basically got locked out in the backyard as well. You know what I mean? But, uh, but you know, thank God that they had like a way to get through the front and shit like that. And they were able to, you know, they were, you know, they're veterans of this situation um but yeah anyways long story short you know they got locked out see it was like the homes here you know they got like security cameras you know they're fancier the cars are nicer the area is nicer so again just fyi you know what i mean like uh you know this is i guess like upper middle class or upper or you know high class i guess or whatever the fuck um upper middle class i guess i live in a middle class neighborhood so again this is uh mexico norte all right and we're on our way to chedrawi selecto which is one by the way one of my favorite chedrawis out here because they have um um they got a they got cigar humidor in there i know there's a bunch of places that sell cigars out here now um but for a while that was the only place so they got cigars in there they got a lot of really good liquor a lot of really good uh items that you can only find there from the u.s or from whatever country you're from and really cool things so um i like it and then they have a pet smart right next door so you know that's also cool so and i'll try to show you some of the pet smart you know what i mean later on i'll probably show you some here you know since we're just looking at a wall um but yeah i'll, I'll film a little bit in there hopefully without getting too much trouble but yeah so let me look at the map but yeah i gotta go this way and then i, I think i gotta make a right uh oh Okay. so anyways yeah so like i was saying you know with uh the getting locked out just be very 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 careful i wanted to bring that up because this happens a lot and i bring this up in videos all the time and i, I probably will make a dedicated video to to that maybe this is it i don't know i do get a little delirious and uh <laughs> i forget what i'm talking about sometimes i don't even know if i covered it or not i digress the point okay i'm close all right so you know the point i mean i'm going the right way this is the most important thing Bruh. so you know that's something that happens out here for sure you know what i mean where well, you can get locked out of your home and it can suck so you know just be very careful with that make sure that you have uh you know your key at all time make sure that you know you have maybe like a stop something at the door you know what i mean to stop the door from slamming shut and just you know again use preventative measures so that this doesn't happen to you and if it does or at least you know that it could um you have again maybe a spare key outside 
or maybe you know what I mean just something something figure it out but anyways check out the neighborhoods here you know what I mean they probably look a lot close to, uh, very similar to some of the neighborhoods you guys have been to or live in right now in the US so again just so you guys can get an idea you know what I mean but again these are definitely you're gonna be paying probably close to US prices for some of these homes but again what I'm saying is that you're gonna be paying for one of these homes what you're paying for a very very modest living in the u.s remember if you're coming out here you're looking to live in a place like where i live um which is just a regular two-bedroom house you know or just a regular house and it's only a few hundred bucks okay like 300 bucks um everything included give or take um as opposed to something like this where you're going to be paying i don't know maybe definitely over a thousand dollars or close to a thousand dollars for a home out here or some one of these bigger homes one of these big nicer places right um at least over a thousand dollars for sure plus a few more um bills you know like uh, utilities and stuff um and again that's accessible you know for a lot of people that is very 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 cheap because they probably pay like five thousand dollars in rent or what have you so i don't want to get run over here by this guy oh there's a delivery guy so no, who knows maybe he's you know like the ninja turtles used to del get deliveries pizza deliveries in the sewer maybe he's bringing me a delivery but anyways but as you guys can see pretty much a regular neighborhood and you can live in one of these homes and i don't know what the prices are but you can look them up but again you know they're uh pretty accessible but again if you're struggling with over when you're struggling with a thousand dollar rent and you're coming out here you're not going to be living in a place like this you're going to be living in a place like where i live but if you you're struggling with uh, a five thousand dollar rent and you just want something cheaper then you can come out here and pay a thousand dollars or a little more maybe a thousand five hundred i will say a thousand five hundred and you got a badass home you got like a really really nice area you know that you're gonna really enjoy so anyway so let me see i know i gotta make a right over here Oh yeah, and the rules are very different for the people living in this area, you know? You're gonna definitely see a lot, you know, these are the people that live in, in, in fancy, nice areas like this around here. So yeah, like I was saying, like, uh, you know, these things are a little gone. But anyways, what I was gonna say is that since this area is more of a nicer privileged area, um i've noticed because i've i've you know i have lots of friends that come to these areas a lot so look there's still like a lot of underdeveloped land as you guys can see for anyone out there is into that uh, but then you know we got everything with all this development that's a park over there that's nothing over there it needs more development but you can see the cars are nicer up here things are nicer up here anyways but what i was going to say about that privilege is that you're going to see a lot less people um with that privilege that money privilege um wearing the mask and a lot of these people with the money privilege are the ones that are pushing the mask agenda and yet you'll see them without it. anyways but i digress i don't want to get into that you know what i mean i know the whole politics and the opinions and all that shit but i'm just it's telling you like it is you don't like it or not it's just the reality of it i live here all right and you know who it is it's just what it is i see it all the time so and and again you saw that because you saw like that guy that was like a doctor or something let me see if i can cross um you saw that guy that was like a doctor so yeah that's a chedrawi i'm talking to you about you see the pet co over there but anyways but like i was saying you saw that guy that was dressed like a doctor or a nurse or whatever the fuck and he definitely wasn't wearing one and he was definitely smiling and laughing a little bit so i'll leave it with that so yeah this park okay we got a park over here i don't know let me see oh yeah that's something else all right but yeah the park is open all right see people in the park the park is nice and open but this is the coup d'etat they're like oh this place right here i really like this place all right so i'm not gonna go in there because i have nothing to go in there for but i just wanted to show you this area and show you the place so you guys can get an idea all right of what it looks like all right and so this place is like a mini strip mall so here they got your chedrawi selector which I, like i said very nice very nice you know selection um and then you know all the way over there we got everything from you know sonora sonora grill i think there's a starbucks we got the full petco with the grooming and the whole nine we got at&t store you name it you know the whole kit and caboodle there's even a radio shack here um but yeah that's it and so there's like the, there's like an underground parking 
they got the regular parking as we've discussed before these individuals you know they're all over i think mexico but i know merida for sure um these individuals that are right there they're just parking people they make sure that you don't hit nobody and nobody hits you and um they don't make any money the only money that they make is whatever tip you give them so people give them like five pesos or a few pesos but all they do don't and don't you know they're not begging for money all they do is just help you get in and out and that's it to make sure you don't hit any cars or hit anybody so let me give you a quick little tour here of uh this area as we make our way towards uh petco so i guess uh they're taking the the time off there but yeah this place has you know you probably cannot see anything here but it has more than one entrance but yeah this is like a like a really nice fancy whole foods inside as well you know what i mean they got like uh, little places to they make food like a food court um and they have a huge selection of really nice stuff you can get your cellulite you know taken away if that's you need that oh the radio shack went out of business no surprise there so this is a radio shack used to be there um we got the bank another bank another bank we got uh <laughs> you got subway you know by the way don't forget to like and subscribe you know um <laughs> anyways get those subs all right those are five dollar subs <laughs> and uh yeah and so these are little kiosks where they used to be little things but again the economy is kind of tanking you already know the deal you're not going to see anything going on there and then that's it you got at t store here and then that's it so let me let me film a little bit from the outside because we're here at the careful with your step here but well, there's the petco and the starbucks all right and the sonora grill upstairs all right so i'm gonna go in there all right and uh, i gotta put my mask on and i'm gonna go in there film a little more and then uh, i'll film an ending as i'm waiting for my uber all right guys oh look at that cute little doggy <laughs> Alright guys, so I finally got my bag full of goodies. Uh, I took a little longer than expected because it was a 25% discount on, uh, you know, the goodies, uh, your little treats for Gizmo. So, you know, I come here because again, you know, just get the really, really good stuff for him, uh, a little healthier, trying to, you know, help the guy, you know, live a healthy lifestyle just like us. But anyways, I was in there. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, checking out the inside as well. You can see it's PetSmart just like back home. Um, let's flip the camera around a little bit. Well, actually, let's keep it on myself. I forgot. We already gave you a tour over here. Um, but I wanted to get back to um, another topic I wanted to discuss real quick because someone asked me. I'm not going to make a full video on it because maybe I will in the future. But um, someone asked me, is like, hey, um, to talk about the rolling blackouts in, in, uh, in Mexico. Look, the reality is, is that there's a lot of fake propaganda media whatever you know there is no rolling blackouts out here okay um this ain't california anyways no but there's no rolling blackouts out here despite what you might hear now sure there's areas in which you will find some sort of uh you know instability with the electricity and the grid um and there are rolling blackouts in certain areas but for the most part the areas in which expats are going to and especially here not a problem or right? there ain't no rolling blackouts in fact the most you're gonna get is a little inconvenience where every once in a while you know they since the city's growing exponentially growing so fast growing um to uh to a very very uh, um exaggerated rate really quickly um 
the grid can't handle it so they're constantly you know what i mean upgrading the grid so every once in a while like it happened to me today i'm editing my video and i see the you know the power truck show up the cfe truck show up and um, i already know what they're up to you know what i mean so i was like ah crap so i just saved all my work unplugged my computer and all that stuff and before i knew it they were climbing the pole and unhooking the power because they needed to do some work and you know about 30 minutes later they hooked it back up and uh we we're good to go you know what let me go take you to the park might as well show you the park a little bit while we're waiting for the uber um that's the bus stop you can see people getting on the bus a lot of uh workers going back down all the way south so the bus now is going to pick all those people up all right and take them all the way to ed centro and then in ed centro they're going to walk from one bus to the other bus to get the bus to go home wherever that bus is okay so and you've seen me take the bus many times so that's the bus there and then we got the park you know we got the regular old park you know nothing crazy you know we got a nice little park i don't want to uh you know go too far away because the uber is not that far away but let me see if i can show you a little bit of the bus but you know at the end of the day the bus it's uh basically the same old thing it's just that now it has like some plastic dividers and uh you know some protocols but i haven't been in the bus in over a year since this whole thing started and basically everyone that's really running a bus now is saying it's like it's more disgusting it's more uh it's just uh, more prone for you to get sick okay so i'll leave it there but it is what it is just like everything else that we're doing now right it uh, makes a lot of sense but yeah it's a nice little park here you know unfortunately they uh, put a lot of concrete and covered the the i don't know why they put so much concrete this wasn't like this before was it i don't know whatever but just yeah so anyways so yeah the power situation is not really a big thing out here it's not what uh what uh people think it is you know what i mean at the end of the day it's a uh, very uh the power out here is very um you know i'm looking at my thing okay still got a few minutes but uh the power grid out here is actually very um good you know what i mean so at the end of the day um it's just even getting better and better so yeah you're gonna constantly be seeing uh or every once in a while you're gonna have like a little bit of a, a power outage for like a little bit of time but you're seeing the people working on the power you know what i mean um and then you know we went uh, you guys can look back at my older videos you know we went through hurricanes out here tropical storms all kinds of horrible horrible weather last year last year was one for the ages literally really it was a uh, 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 a monumental year it was the most rain that this area the yucatan has ever had ever uh, but i digress uh, the point i'm making is that even under those conditions you know we would only lose power for a few hours at most i remember one time we lost power for like eight hours you know something like that but the weather was nice so it didn't really matter you know what i mean we just read a book and hung out together and that's it you know what i mean it wasn't really a big deal so that's it you know what i mean really the power grid out here is really power is really great um it's very modern as you guys can see you know you already know where i live but at the end of the day there's also modern areas okay like uh the the area i am at now and other areas around uh, the city um and that's it so i think i'm gonna cut it here all right so let me start filming the ending here so guys if you enjoy this kind of content you already know what to do you know don't forget to please like please subscribe please share please hit that bell icon but more importantly than anything else please stay awesome thanks again for watching and uh, i'll see you guys on the next one bye